my channel. This is Crochet by Maruti where we learn about crochet, young people in business and also have fun. So this week's video, I'm going to show you guys the crochet starter pack. Basically, that's uh, everything that you need to be able to learn how to crochet. I'm also going to show you how I store my tools in order to avoid confusion or losing one or two things. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share guys. So let's get right into it. So tool number one that's very essential is the tape measure. You can't do anything without measuring and so this is very important for you to have. If you're making mats, you need to measure your length versus width to be able to know uh, which size you're making. If you're making a beanie, of course you don't want it to be too big or too small so you also need to measure or whatever it is that you're making, you need a tape measure. Then uh, the essential tool number two is uh, the hooks and I have two different types. Type number one is this with a latch. People prefer this for making mats and that's why I also have it. I like it because it's easy to use while making mats. And this, the metallic ones, I have them for making my beanies and my slipper socks and my tops or anything that you want so it depends with the size and i have right from the smallest which is two millimeters all the way to the biggest which is eight millimeters so uh the ones that i use most are 3.5 for making tops and five for making my beanies and slipper socks so uh it also depends with your with your preference on the stitches that you want but if you have a 3.5 and 5 i think you're good to go to begin then uh <coughs> I have a pair of scissors and a trimmer. Basically, these ones are used for cutting. You can't use your teeth or your hands to cut the yarn because you'll get hurt, obviously. So this is also very important to have. Another important tool uh, is yarn. And I have four different types of yarn and I'll tell you why. So the first one I have is Robin. Then I have Winter King. I have seal and I have butterfly. So butterfly, I prefer it to making my mats and sometimes beanies, but rarely. I like uh, butterfly for mats because it's a bit rough and makes the texture of the mat to last longer because you see someone is really stepping on it a lot of times. So I prefer this for my mats. Then uh, for seal and robin, this is what I use a lot for making uh, my beanies, slipper socks. I'm mentioning the two because those are the ones I make so much. So this is the type of yarn I prefer because it's a bit soft and yeah, gives a good feel at the finish. Then I have winter king. Winter king basically is what I use to make this top I'm wearing. And uh, it's very thin as you can see as compared to the other types of yarn this is chunky and this is so thin so people prefer this for making beachwear mainly uh but for me since i've not specialized in making beachwear i use this for making my tops yeah then uh another essential tool is a dunning needle uh this dunning needle i like it plastic because it doesn't prick you when you're going in holes of different things that you're making so this one i use to finish to do my finishing if i want to like hide the excess yarn or just to give a good finish for my beanies or attaching a pom-pom to a beanie i use this then um there's this these two lovely pins over here they're called stitch markers uh but this is not so important for a beginner you can use um what are they called paper pins or you can use a piece of string or yarn to be able to mark your points so this is not very essential for a beginner then uh, I have a piece of wood. So this piece of wood is usually to help me cut my, my yarn. And I'm sure you'll see me using it in some of the videos I'll make. So I'll make for your tutorial on how to make a mat. And you'll see how this piece of wood comes in handy. Then this is a piece of mesh. So this mesh is what I use for making mats. Uh, depends on the size so the i think the smallest size they sell is half a meter and uh 
it depends again with where you're buying it so i won't quote any price but i'll share with you later on some other shops that you're able to get this at an affordable price but with this basically this is the most important thing for making mats i see some people using uh sacks but i don't know how to make mats using sacks so this is what i use and also it gives you a very neat finish and a neat look because you can see the holes are neatly arranged then i have felt pens basically these felt pens i use them for marking uh my mesh if someone maybe wants me to write a name on their mat or to come up with a design on the mat so i need to mark the mesh first before i start yarning and these are the things i use then what else am i forgetting i have cardboards basically these cardboards uh i made them myself you can use them for making pom-poms and you'll see me using them later then of course i don't know where it's gone but i also have toilet paper rolls they help me with making pom-poms then i have uh the normal thread let's say you want to um uh, brand your items you can use this to sew in the the tag and I guess that's it for all the tools that I use for making crochet. If you're a beginner and you want the basic tools, let's say you're making a mat, all you need is a mesh, the piece of wood, a tape measure, and yarn. And if you're making, let's say, beanies uh, or sweaters or tops, basically what you need is a crochet hook, 3.5 or 5 millimeters, uh, yarn, a tape measure, that's all you need. So I'll take you guys to where I store my things and let's go. So this is a portable, I don't know if it's a cupboard or whatever you may want to call it, but uh, it's detachable and movable. So, and you can arrange it in whichever way you want. So this is how I decided to arrange it to occupy less space. And then I'll show you how each compartment looks inside and what I put. So here I put my personal projects, same to the other compartment. Then uh, here I put my scarves, which are ready for delivery. Then here I put beanies and slipper socks. Uh, this particular compartment is where I store like all my tools that I use for making my products and then over here i put my chunky yarn as you can see i don't mix it with the thin yarn and there comes my thin yarn so <laughs> this is where i put my thin yarn uh, all of it is winter king haven't found another brand that i like yet uh, then here i put all my scrap yarn i don't throw away any because they come in handy when i'm learning new projects or just making anything i want then here is where I put my lovely packaging bags. I have this, the normal type that we know. Then I have the canvas ones. Um, then lastly, here is where I put my ongoing projects. Like right now, I'm working on a mat, so that is where it stays. So as you can see, uh, this arrangement helps me to find whatever I want easily and I'm not able to, to lose certain small things as I'm able to know this compartment contains something particular yeah so that's it with my storage place today's video guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and share if you have any questions in regards to everything i showed today make sure to leave your question on the comment section and i'll see you in the next video